One of the topics that's often really confusing for students in my classes is heritability. This is something that we read about in our textbook, uh, but it's often hard to kind of wrap your head around the idea of what heritability is and how it differs from just heredity and inheriting things in genes from your parents. So the basic definition of heritability is that it's the proportion of differences in a population that can be explained by genetics. And that word population is absolutely critical here. This is not about how much of your individual personality or intelligence or whatever is due to genetics, but rather if we were to compare all of the people in a group, how much of that group variation is explained by genetics. And so it's important to keep in mind that even if something has very high heritability, that doesn't mean that environment doesn't matter. So let me give you an example here. Let's say we have two groups of plants, okay? And let's stipulate that within each group, all differences are completely genetic. So we see here that some of these plants are taller than others, some are shorter. Some of them just got tall genes and short genes. But the two groups on average are identical at the outset. But now, let's say we get one group, really good soil and light, really high quality growing conditions, and the other group doesn't have good soil, not good light, maybe they don't get enough water. We're going to expect that the group that gets good soil and light is going to wind up being sort of uh, better developed. And that's exactly what we see here, okay? So in this group on the left, there is variation in height just like there's variation in the group on the right, but we can see that group one on average is considerably taller than group two. So the differences between group one and group two are now due entirely to the environment, even though that heritability might be 100% or really close to it. And so this has very practical implications when we talk about group differences in human behaviors or human traits. Uh, so a very common and very misunderst often misunderstood example is intelligence. So we know uh, from research in the United States that African Americans tend to score lower as a group on IQ tests compared to whites. And we also know from research that intelligence appears to have fairly high heritability. So people will sometimes say, oh, well that proves that IQ is genetic and therefore if blacks score lower, then they must be less intelligent. But that's actually not a fair interpretation of the data. Because if we were to compare, you know, use the analogy of these plants, if whites are group one and African Americans are group two, they could start off with equal, equal genes with equal potential. But if we know that white Americans are more likely to have favorable conditions, they're more likely to have higher quality schools, to get better nutrition as children. Um, they don't face stereotypes about their intelligence based on their skin color, whereas African-American children may be stereotyped by others. They may not be pushed as hard to try or to excel. And so what we might wind up then is African-Americans collectively as a group scoring lower on the test but that difference could be entirely environmental, not due to genetics. So her heritability, excuse me, applies only within a group. It does not apply when we are comparing two groups to each other. 